Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really, really, really well. Um, just a few items to show you today, what I've picked up recently. Um, some pretty interesting items, I think, um, and pretty, pretty nice things. So, um, without further ado, let's get into what we bought. Um, now, the first couple of items, I've got to thank Jim from Hand Tool Restoration, because he found at least one of these items. He found it, I didn't even find it. Um, and he showed me the listing, and um, he was bidding on it. And he actually withdrew his bid so I could bid on the other item. He said, if I get out bid, you can bid and I won't bid anymore. So it was very kind of Jim. So without further ado, let's get into that. So first, Jim found this. I can't believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it. I've never, ever, ever seen one in the UK before. And I've been looking. A HD Smith perfect handled screwdriver in pretty good condition i mean it's working it's grabbing the um jaw it's free and moving um it's a perfect handled uh paint and screwdriver um it's a wrench it's got a that i'm sure that could be dried and sanded out that it's a little bit raised so i think you could improve that considerably um really really nice and this is a little uh, six inch jobby so he found this he bid he bid the grand total of 12 pound 50 uh, 12 pounds shall i say and he said um if i get out bid you can you can have it so you can bid over me so i he got out bid pretty quickly and then i bid on it and then i won it so so basically i won this um and uh, thanks to jim now he also found another interesting lot which is these garringtons now jim collects garringtons um now i was bidding on this as well as jim i think we're both about the same time and jim said well i'll withdraw my bid i said well i'll tell you what i'll do jim i'll bid my i only really want the four inch for my collection so i will bid on them and then i will send you the the um six inch for your collection for free so i think that says red diamond and then this one's got the diamonds on it so i thought that was a fair deal so basically i get one jim gets one so this one's Jim's. So the next time I post anything to Jim, that'll be in the parcel. Um, this is a red diamond. Um, really, really nice. Four inch. And I collect four inches. So that'll go in the collection. Um, but like I say, it, I would have paid twice the amount because Jim's bid was very close to my bid. So really, I would if, if Jim had not, not known me, I would have paid twice the amount for him. So it's better for me to pay half the amount and then give Jim one. Um, so that's yours, Jim. Uh, made in England. It's quite a nice example. Um, and it's got the uh, little wrench at the end, which I think is really clever. Um, and it's in the jaws are a bit chewed up. Um, mine's pretty good condition. <laughs> oh, take it back. That's a bit chewed up. But your yours is uh, yeah, you're not too bad anyway. So, so that was Jim on that. The next one was kind of interesting. This was a Facebook Marketplace. Um, um, purchase it was just one little um backhoe number 70 um it was the reason why i bought it is because it's a 40471 which is quite an early painting with the, the fat ground and it and it's a, it's obviously a number 70 it's a small six inch um and it's quite good condition the writing's in good condition um and it's a you know it's a nice early example that it's from the 1920s so i thought i'm going to give that a whirl um, because they usually don't come up that often. So I basically paid the price the seller wanted, plus the shipping and that. Um, they wanted me to put it through bank transfer. I said, no, I'll, I'll pay the extra 3.6% and put it through PayPal, because, you know, I don't know you from Adam. So that was good. That was a good item, um, nice little item. Um, now, this one, was a, this one was a real story. Um, I saw this, and you can see here it's got a big chunk out of it. I saw this, and it said copper coated spanner backhoe, so much money on Facebook, and I thought, wow, I really really like that. And I said to the seller, how much? He said X. I said, yeah, I'll buy that. Can I pay you now? He said, oh, I'm at the Lake District. I'm out for a walk. I said, well, can I pay? Can I pay? So he said, he said, so he, I contacted him later in the night. He said, actually, I've got somebody who's coming to collect it, so um, deals off. So I said to him, "That's you give your word." I said, you, "That's really, really wrong." That is. Um, so I was a bit, a bit annoyed. I said, "So anyway, the person who came to the house obviously didn't buy it because I've got it." So I looked about a month again, a month later, and it was still on. So I said, "Is this still available?" And she said, "The guy said yes." So I think what happened was I thought this was a brilliant backhoe tool because the 
backhoe still make today beryllium tools and he had it advertised as a backhoe copper coated tool which is kind of interesting in, in its own right so so i um so i assumed it was brilliant that's why i was so keen from brilliant collection but when you look at it it's actually copper coated um for some reason it's got some sort of copper coating now i don't know if this is factory i mean i don't know why anyone would do it i mean if this is factory coating for what reason i do not know or if or if it's been done by and somebody else i mean it's it's kind of interesting i mean i just i bought i mean I, I don't regret buying it i do regret having to deal with the seller because the seller was a complete um bag of so the but so i ended up buying it he messed me around and I, I he said pay me direct i said i'm not paying you direct so i said i'll pay you the um the the fees so i put an extra bit of money in for the fees and then he sent me a message back saying um after me paying the fees i obviously miscalculated it he said you're 5p short I said, 5p, you know, I paid his fees, I paid the postage, I didn't argue, I paid it. And he said, you're 5p short, so I actually sent him 5p. So, I mean, th when you deal with people like that, it just ruins everything, you know, it just ruins the whole transaction. It just don't, it just, you know, and then it took him forever to post it. And he was just, he was just, to be honest, if I'd known it was copper coated, I probably, I wouldn't have bought it. But, but I was obviously thought it was beryllium and I thought, wow, it fit really nice. And with it, I collect backhoes and beryllium tools. So, yeah, probably should have just left it and just ignored the guy. But anyway, I bought it. So that was the end of that. And the next one, this is a solid brass Eclipse number 77 made in England um, saw set. And I've seen these polished up and this is solid brass. It's not copper coated like the guy solid brass and these polish up really really nice so i mean this will be a nice restoration project so i'm looking forward to doing that and um, it wasn't too much money um i think it's quite an unusual looking thing and when you get the fiber wheel on that it'll just come up like brushed brass it looks fantastic so that's the reason why i bought that one um, and then the absolute star of the show for me is this little king dick uh bulldog um, and I just think it's fabulous. Now, I've got to thank Jack from Jack Shed for this because he found this for sale on Etsy. Um, and he said, um, this this bulldog um, is absolutely amazing. What do you think of it? And I thought, wow, it really is. This is a Abingdon King Dick advertising piece, probably from the 20s or 30s, I would have thought, uh, bulldog. Um, and it's got, you know, a little bit of felt on the bottom. And it's just fabulous. I mean, he's just got a face. He's just got a face like you wouldn't believe. Really, really, really cool. Um, really nice item. Really well detailed as well. I don't know if you can see. It's really well detailed. And obviously, this will make a nice display with the King Dick wrenches. I mean, so very, very cool. Thank you, Jack, for finding me this. This is a nice uh, item. Really, really like it. Um, this is the star of the show and um, this I think this costs more than all those put together because um, this is a fabulous item so when you're guessing if you're going to have a guess I recommend you do have a guess have a bit of fun how much do you think I paid for all these items so um, I can't believe I found a hate well I didn't I can't believe Jim found a HD Smith tool for sale in England truly amazing thank you Jim Um seller was an absolute jerk um didn't honor his word but it was exactly as described copper coated which was also not good um some other cool items this will clean up nice and for me the star of the show my favorite item is this king dog uh, king dick dog i think if this was solid brass beryllium copper solid i think i would choose this one actually because I've never seen one and it'd be a great restoration project but I can't polish it so polish it it'll just go silver so but it'll look nice on the wall at like that it looks kind of cool like that I might I don't know if I should re-drill that hole and make it neater with a file or just leave it as I'm not sure yet so um thanks for watching I hope you found it interesting um put in the description which do you think's the coolest item um and put in how much you think I paid so we've got one two three four five six slots that one was postage included but all the rest was extra postage and um, so put in the description how much you think it all cost don't forget at the end of uh, the year there'll be a big prize i'll be restoring a tool for somebody who's the winner 
And also they'll get a trophy for being, a, you know, for taking part in the fun. And there might be some minor prizes. I don't know yet. We'll see. Some runners up. We'll work it out at the end. But the minute, just keep putting your guesses in and keep having fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.